All right, guys, we've got a one and a half by one and a half square and four inch long or tall piece of basswood today. Um, the first thing we're going to do is come up about five eighths of an inch, make your little mark, and you're going to go all the way around the block at that five eighths mark. Just make you a little line, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put some stop cuts in at each one of those lines all the way around. And we're going to connect them all the way around as well. What are you doing down there, Dookie? So get in good and deep on that 5 8 line. So when you connect them, it'll be a little easier distance to, to manage when you're going from corner to corner. So get in there good and deep. Doogie, what are you doing? Another little Halloween project that we've got today. And if you're looking for other Halloween projects. I've already done a couple of a couple of those type projects. Now just connect your corners and cut those out. I've already got a couple of those. Halloween projects. I've done a, a little pumpkin head man this year and last year. Also done a, a hillbilly witch this year. Duke, you're making too much noise, buddy. I think I heard his feelings. <laughs> but you can go back to my, my channel page and find several of the Halloween type of uh, carvings. And I'll put some links in the description down below. So you can find them a little easier. Okay, so there's all the way around, and now let's let's take these corners off. Pretty good chunks off the corners. Okay, so 
down towards the bottom here. Let's go ahead and take all the way around from about a third of the way up from the bottom, from this bottom, not this bottom. Let's go about a third of the way up and start bringing that in. I'm going to really narrow this pumpkin down. Okay, now let's do the top third as well. So the bottom third, about an inch up, and the bottom, the top third, about a, an inch from the top. Okay, let's get let's get a little thinner on top and in the bottom. The berry bottom and the berry top. Try to make it a little bit uniform all the way around if you can. Just keep rotating, finding your your heavy spots that need to have more taken out. But this should be a pretty easy little project, especially if you're if you're new, new to carving. Round and around. Keep taking off more. All right, so let's get these flat spots. Actually, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, let's let's just continue back around those. Just taking a little bit off, just to take the flat spots away flat spots on your sides like these I'm just taking those flatties away I'm 
Don't want to dig in too deep though. Just enough to take a little bit of that that surface, that flat surface away, and give it that carved look. Turn it over and do the same thing towards the bottom part. Okay, that's what we've got starting out. Okay, so now let's let's come up about a quarter inch from the top. You can kind of eyeball it here. Just going to go all the way around. Draw you a little line about a quarter of an inch. We're going to try to put a little stem up there. So we don't want to come too far down. Just enough to give him just a little stem. And let's, let's put a V-cut in all the way around that, that line. It'll be easier to start that way. Or you can put your little stop cut in right there on the line if you'd like. Just cut it out that way. And just work it back from the top. Reducing the, reducing the top down, little chunks at a time. It's a little tougher on top with that, that end grain. So you can just take your time. You don't have to take big chunks. I'm just trying to save a little time. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that alone for now so we don't cut off just a little stem. I don't want to cut him off. <clears throat> so now we're going to round again. Round that top off where, you, where you've made yourself a little flat spot and blend it with the rest of the little pumpkin make it a little rounder and then when we get to the end we'll We'll narrow that stem down some more. We want it to be the last thing that we work on so we don't we don't cut it off when it gets smaller. Just a little ovaly shape going there. Okay. So if yours looks like mine now, you've you've got some you've still got little flat spots right in the middle, and that's okay. 
right in the middle of each side. One of these sides, we're going to make the face. So that's perfectly fine to leave one flat. So I'm going to pick, and you might look at your base and see what it looks like. See what you want the front to be. See what looks best from the front there. Which side? So I'm going to pick this side right here to meet my face. Just because I like the way the base looks a little better and we'll we'll shape it up more later too. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to draw his face on here, and I will come right back. Okay, guys, so I've got his mouth drawn in. It's a big, wide, open mouth with a little pumpkin triangle nose, and I'm going to put him some cartoon eyes up here. So what I've done is just drawn a little, little area for a, for a shelf to put his eyes on. So that's the first thing we're going to work on here is let's let's take the line if you need to stop the video and and draw it in I did go around and take off a few more of my flat spots just gave them some wood chip looks So we'll take this line here, and that line for a shelf is exactly one inch from the top at this little peak. So you can draw you a little line right here if you want to do it the same way. You don't even have to put triangle eyes in like a jack-o'-lantern, or you can you can try to put these cartoon eyes in. Um, so this this peak of this line, this one's going to be a little lower one inch from the top right here so probably about an eighth an eighth lower on each side so it's going to taper down from an inch to an eight inch and an eighth inch to an inch and an eighth so we're going to take that line and we're going to cut it in just with the stop cut I got a little too low there. That's okay. We're just going to take it out from the top. I got rid of my pencil lines anyway. Just gently come down towards the towards that little stop cut. Not too awful deep. And now we'll flatten this off above there again so we can have a nice little spot for his eyes.
All right, I'm gonna stop it and draw this in so I can get it right. Okay, so there's his eyes drawn in. And what we'll do is we'll take our knife and go around. And this is just, uh, this is what I've decided to do. If you decide to do a little something different, then, then you should just go for it. Just try it out and see what you come up with. I've gotten to where I like when I do these little these little figures to to put cartoon eyes in. Just gotten to where I enjoy it. I think it looks a little more a little more fun. I go around it a couple of times. Too much coffee this morning. Go around it a couple of times and uh, get your line in there a little deeper. And then you're going to cut from the inside out. So on the, let's go on and do the nose here real quick. You can make it bigger. You can make a great big nose all the way from his eyes to his mouth. But I just chose a, a little nose. And also cut it from the inside. Just first putting your little stop cut in and then you're coming back from the inside to that little stop cut. Alright. Okay, the mouth. So you notice I've got a couple little teeth in there. You don't have to put teeth at all. You could put more teeth, um, but those are the, what we need to go ahead and cut. We're going to cut around each one of those. So that we could go around them later with the knife. Doesn't have to be too awful deep. They just need to st stick out just a little bit. All right, now let's go from tooth to tooth on that mouth line. And careful not to go uh, on the, go be, don't go beyond your stop cut that you put in for the tooth right here. Because if you go in on beyond it, then you're gonna cut the whole thing off. So make sure you just start right at the tooth and come over to the next one. Stop right there. If you don't get quite there, that's okay too. And then we can go around the rest of the mouth. Make sure you stop right at the tooth. If you don't have any teeth, you don't have to worry about it at all. And put a little, little smiley corner in the, right here in the corner. A little green. Take your knife and Follow your line. 
when you get to this curve, you might want to just take it slow and move your knife in and out. And start at the tooth and come back to the corner of your smile, his mouth. Get the little curve. I'm going to go on and take it out too, a little bit. Might take more after a while. Okay, so start at the bottom. Let's. Let's meet that stop cut and take out the inside of that mouth. Same thing on this side. Nice and slow. Make sure you don't run into your teeth. I'm going to take some more out also of this mouth area. Take a little bit more out to so we can paint it black, make it look like it's inset a little bit, and it will be. Go around your tooth, nice and careful with your teeth. Like I said, you don't have to put in a tooth at all if you don't want make it a little easier so if you're not careful these are very easy to cut off what's going on right there Go inside there with your little detail knife. And you can do it with a big knife too. It's just a whole lot easier with a, with a little knife. enough to show up there now let's go back in here and take some more of this inside of this mouth out make it inset a little bit more That block down on the bottom, I didn't anticipate that. Yeah, my knife is hitting my block. We didn't have the block there. 
you wouldn't have to worry about it, but makes it a little harder on us. Remember to get your little stop cut in. Wherever you don't want to cut, make sure you get a little stop cut right in that spot. And let's go up in this corner and see if we can get a little bit more. Okay, need to clean that up a little bit. One more little corner out here and we might be home free. And we'll clean these edges up too. Good piece of wood. Really soft. Okay. You can see that. All right. I'm also going to go in here and make him finish up his eyes a little bit. Put us another little, little cut in here for the tops of his eyes. Just put your little stop cut in there if you're doing the cartoon eyes. Stop cut. Take that out from the inside. Get a little triangle out of the corner over here too.
Okay, guys, so I hit him with some Scotch Bright. And I've drawn in I've drawn in four lines. You can see them here at the top. What I did was I put it on on the back side, I put it on the corners. One line here, one line here, and then two lines that are about I don't know three eighths away from his face on both sides. And we're gonna make a little we're gonna put us a little B cut in there uh, to make it look like some pumpkin pumpkin grooves. So just draw your lines in there and make a little shallow cut. All the way down the pumpkin man. I guess he's a jack o' lantern. He's not really a pumpkin man. You don't want to get too awful close to your face here. Down at the bottom, let's make those good and wide. Widen those. Those ends of those little wedges. Widen them out real good at the bottom. All you're going to do is extend your V-cut out wider. Just like a real pumpkin does when it's uh, out full grown. It, those grooves widen out at the top and bottoms of the pumpkin. Let's go up to the top and do the same thing. You'll have to be careful around your stem. Right. 
You don't cut your stem off. The bear's going to start barking. The same thing, just deepen it down right there at the end. Now right in the middle we're going to taper it back down into the middle next to the stem. A pumpkin on top turns and goes back down towards the back towards the stem. Be careful with your stem. All right, now on these edges, just go back and take off some of your sharp edges where you put in your V-cut. You don't want any sharp edges here. Okay, guys, I'll go around and, and tidy them up just a little more, but that's pretty much what we've got. Oh, we'll... We'll tidy him up a little bit and then we'll we'll paint him up. Alright, let's start off with a little boiled linseed oil. This guy actually turned out a little better than I thought he was going to. I took the, my pattern, if you can call it a pattern. We have something that hangs on our front door. It's just a, a flat 2D, two-dimensional Halloween uh, door decoration my wife puts out every year and this is the guy I might show it I might show it right here I remember jack-o-lantern looking thing so we're going to start out with the orange mixed with a little bit of brown And some water, quite a bit of water. And what we're going to do with it is put it in the those creases or those pumpkin wedges. because we want the wedges a little bit darker than the rest of the pumpkin. Hopefully, those wedges will be a little darker. And if they're not, we'll, we'll do something about that too. Inside the the grooves here are not dark as not as dark as I want them to be, so I'll probably come back with some brown over top of it. And the color is nutmeg brown. That's what it's called. So we're just gonna go inside. See how it's kind of darkening up there. That's what we're looking for.
anyway, I hope you like it. I hope you hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I wish would appreciate a subscribe as well. So, that's going to do it, folks. And we will see you next time.